Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast Discussions on my favorite games, movies, TV shows, anime, comic books, collectibles, and other fun content for gamers and geeks. I'm your host, Jeremy. Welcome to the show. Hello, welcome back to Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast, and I am your host, Jeremy, back again for a final installment of the mini-series I've been working on, is researching the great video game designer Shigeru Miyamoto. He is uh, responsible for a great uh, long list of video game characters like Super Mario, Luigi, Metroid, The Legend of Zelda, like uh, Link and all the characters in the Legend of Zelda saga. He has uh, created a, a series of video games and video game uh, machines like the Super Nintendo, the Nintendo 64, the Wii, the Wii U, and is presently involved in many new creative projects. He is considered by many to be the Spielberg, the Steven Spielberg of the video game industry. We've uh, finished researching the uh, the 2011 to present, the Wii U, the 3DS, the Switch, and other project projects, and we've also rehearsed, researched his development philosophy. We've learned how uh, he does. He even though his uh, video game style is very much like a movie, he makes movie like games that that are have a very rich characterization and plot. He never really wanted to make movies. He always liked the idea of creating interactive uh, games, interactive uh, programs that entertain people and help people solve problems. Many of them very clever puzzles that he created in his games. <coughs> We're just finishing up our research on wikipedia.org and I encourage you to do your own personal research. This uh, research was made possible through wikipedia.org and I very much uh, am express my gratitude to wikipedia.org to have such a rich source of information for people who just want to do some research on their favorite video game characters and video game people video game history a rich information of knowledge based on many books and history uh, uh, volumes I encourage you to go to wikipedia.org and check out the research yourself we're going to uh, finish up with some extra information on Shigeru Miyamoto we're going to first start up with Impact and then we're going to move on to uh, some personal aspects of his life. So sit back, relax. I hope you have your favorite beverage and your favorite s- snack. This is the uh, holiday season, and we're almost near Christmas. So I hope you're. Uh, I hope you make all. Hope all your dreams come true this holiday. For the meantime, relax, sit back, and enjoy while I give you some more food for thought on the history of Shigeru Miyamoto, a big uh, boyhood role model of mine. We're looking up the impact, how his work has impacted the game industry and the world around him. Impact. Time called Miyamoto the Spielberg of video games and the father of modern video games. While the Daily Telegraph says he is regarded by many as possibly the most important game designer of all time. Game trailers called him the most influential game creator in history. Miyamoto has significantly influenced various aspects of the medium. The Daily Telegraph credited him with creating some of the most innovative, groundbreaking, and successful work in his field. Many of Miyamoto's works have pioneered new video game concepts or refined existing ones. 
Miyamoto's games have received outstanding critical praise, some being considered the greatest games of all time. Miyamoto's games have also sold very well, becoming some of the best-selling games on Nintendo consoles and of all time. As of 1999, his games had sold 250 million units and grossed billions of dollars, calling him one of the few video game auteurs. The New Yorker credited Miyamoto's role in creating the franchises that drove console sales, as well as designing the consoles themselves. They described Miyamoto as Nintendo's guiding spirit, its meal ticket, and its playful public face. Noting that Nintendo might not exist without him, the Daily Telegraph similarly attributed Nintendo's success to Miyamoto more than any other person. Next Generation listed him in their 75 most important people in the games industry of 1995, Explore, elaborating that, pardon me, elaborating that he's the most successful game design developer in history. He has a unique and brilliant mind as well as an unparalleled grasp of what gamers want to play. Influence on the video game industry. Miyamoto's best known and most influential title, Super Mario Brothers, depending on your point of view, created an industry or resuscitated a comatose one. The Daily Telegraph called it a title that set the standard for all future video games. G4 noted its revolutionary gameplay as well as its role in almost single-handedly rescuing the video game industry. The title also popularized the side-scrolling genre of video games. The New Yorker described Mario as the first folk hero of video games, with as much influence as Mickey Mouse. GameSpot featured The Legend of Zelda as one of the 15 most influential games of all time as being an early example of open-world, non-linear gameplay and for its introduction of battery pack backup saving, laying the foundations for later action-adventure games like Metroid and role-playing video games like Final Fantasy while influencing most modern games in general. In 2009, Game Informer called The Legend of Zelda no less than the greatest game of all time on the list of the top 200 games of all time, saying that it was ahead of its time by years, if not decades. At the time of the release of Star Fox, the use of filled three-dimensional polygons in a console game was very unusual, apart from a handful of earlier titles. Due to its success, Star Fox has become a Nintendo franchise with five more games and numerous appearances by its characters in other Nintendo games, such as the Super Smash Bros. series. His game. Super Mario 64 has made an a lasting impression on the field of 3D game design, particularly notable for its use of a dynamic camera system and the implementation of its analog control. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time's gameplay system introduced features such as a target lock system and context sensitive buttons that have since become common elements in 3D adventure games. The Wii, which Miyamoto played a major role in designing, is the first wireless motion-controlled video game console. Critical reception. Miyamoto's games have received outstanding critical praise and are widely considered among the greatest of all time. 
games in Miyamoto's The Legend of Zelda series have received outstanding critical acclaim. A Link to the Past is a landmark title for Nintendo and is widely considered today to be the most to be one of the greatest video games of all time. Ocarina of Time is widely considered by critics and gamers alike to be one of the greatest video games ever made. Ocarina of Time was even listed by Guinness World Records as the highest rated video game in history, citing its Metacritic score of 99 out of 100. Twilight Princess was released to universal critical acclaim and is the third highest rated title for the Wii. It received perfect scores from major publications such as CVG, Electronic Gaming Monthly, Game Informer, Games Radar, and Game Spy. Critical analysis of Super Mario Bros. has been extremely positive, with many touting it as one of the best video games of all time. In 2009, Game Informer put Super Mario Bros. in second place on, the, on its list of the top 200 games of all time behind The Legend of Zelda, saying that it remains a monument to brilliant design and fun gameplay. Super Mario 64 is acclaimed by many critics and fans as one of the greatest and most revolutionary video games of all time. According to Metacritic, Super Mario Galaxy and Super Gal Mario Galaxy 2 are the first and second highest rated games for the Wii. A 1995 article in Maximum stated that in gaming circles, Miyamoto's name carries far more weight than Steven Spielberg's could ever sustain. That's quite a reputation to have. Commercial Reception Miyamoto's games have sold very well, becoming some of the best-selling games on Nintendo consoles and of all time. Miyamoto's Mario series is by far the best selling video game franchise of all time, selling over 400 million units. Super Mario Bros. is currently the sixth best selling video game of all time. The game was the, was the all time best selling video game for over 20 years until its lifetime sales were ultimately surpassed by Wii Sports. Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 3, and Super Mario Brothers 2 were reported respectively the three best-selling games for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Levi Buchanan of IGN considered Super Mario Brothers 3's appearance in the film The Wizard as a show-stealing element and referred to the movie as a 90-minute commercial for the game. Super Mario World was the best-selling game for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Super Mario 64 was the best-selling Nintendo 64 game. And as of May 21st, 2003, the game had sold 11 million copies. At the end of 2007, Guinness World Records reported sales of 11.8 million copies. As of September 25th, 2007, it was the seventh best-selling video game in the United States, with 6 million copies sold. By June 2007, Super Mario 64 had become the second most popular title on Wii's virtual console. Behind Super Mario Bros., Super Mario Sunshine was the third best-selling video game for the GameCube. The original game in the Legend of Zelda series was the fifth best-selling game for the Nintendo Entertainment System. The Wind Walker was the fourth best-selling game for the GameCube. Twilight Princess experienced commercial success. In the PAL region, which covers most of Asia, Africa, South America, Australia, New Zealand, and most of Western Europe, Twilight Princess is the best-selling Zelda game ever. During its first week, 
the game was sold with three out of every four Wii purchases. The game has sold 4.52 million copies on the Wii as of March the 1st, 2008, and 1.32 million on the GameCube as of March the 31st, 2007. The Mario Kart series has sold well. It is currently the most successful racing game franchise of all time. Mario Kart Super Mario Kart, pardon me, is the third best-selling video game for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Mario Kart 64 is the second best-selling Nintendo 64 game. Mario Kart Double Dash is the second best-selling game for the GameCube, and Mario Kart Wii which is the second best-selling game for the Wii. Miyamoto produced Wii Sports, another of the best-selling games of all time and part of the Wii series. Wii Fit, designed by Miyamoto, was the third best-selling console game, not packaged with a console, with 22.67 million copies sold. We're now research uh, Miyamoto's awards and recognition. Here's what, the, what Will Wright from The New Yorker said. Miyamoto approaches the game playfully, which seems kind of obvious, but most people don't. And he approaches things from the player's point of view, which is part of his magic. The name of the main character of the PC game, Dyke Tana, D-A-I-K-A-T-A-N-A -A -A Daike Atana pardon me Hiro Miyamoto is an homage to Miyamoto the character Gary Oak from the Pokemon anime series is named Shigeru in Japan and is the rival of Ash Ketchum called Satoshi in Japan Pokemon creator Satoshi Tajiri was mentored by Miyamoto in 1998, Miyamoto was honored as the first person inducted into the Academy of Interactive Arts and Sciences Hall of Fame. In 2006, Miyamoto was made a Chevalier, or a Knight, of the French Ordre des Arts et des Lettres by the French Minister of Culture, Renard Donadieu de Fabrez. On November the 28th, 2006, Miyamoto was featured in Time, Asia's 60 Years of Asian Heroes. He was later chosen as one of Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People of the Year in both 2007 and also in 2008, in which he topped the list with a total vote of 1,000, 1,000,000, 1, pardon me, 1,000,000, 766,424 at the Game Developers Choice Awards on March the 7th, 2007 Miyamoto received the Lifetime Achievement Award for a career that spans the creation of Super Mario Brothers and The Legend of Zelda and Donkey Kong to the company's most company's recent revolutionary systems Nintendo DS and Wii Game Trailers and IGN place Miyamoto first on their lists for the top 10 game creators and the top 100 game creators of all time, respectively. In a survey of game developers by industry publication develop, 30% of the developers, by far the largest portion, chose Miyamoto as their ultimate development hero. Miyamoto has been interviewed by companies and organizations such as CNN's Talk Asia. He was made a fellow of BAFTA, or the um, British Academy Video Game Awards, pardon me, at the British Academy Awards, and BAFTA stands for the British Academy of Film and Television Arts. On March the 19th, 2010, in 2012, Miyamoto was also the first interactive creator to be awarded the highest recognition in Spain 
the Prince of Asturias Award in the category of communications and humanities. The Prince, uh, just look, look, at, look at this, the Prince or Princess of Asturias Awards, formerly the Prince Asturias Awards from 1981 to 2014, are a series of annual prizes awarded in Spain by the Princess of Asturias Foundation to individuals, entitles or entities, pardon me, or organizations from around the world who also are, are notable. So very uh, prestigious awards, uh, Miyamoto won. Miyamoto was awarded Japan's Person of Cultural Merit in 2019 in recognition for his contributions towards Japan's video game industry. He was the first person in the video game industry to receive the honor. Now, finally, we're going to round off this research with his personal life. We're not going to get too personal. We're just going to understand uh, about his family a bit more. Family life. Miyamoto has a wife, Yasuko, and two children. In 2010, his son was 25 and working at an advertising agency, while his daughter was 23 and studying zoology at the time. His children played video games in their youth, but he also made them go outside. Although he can speak some English, he is not fluent and prefers to speak in Japanese for interviews. Miyamoto does not generally sign autographs out of concern that he would be inundated. He also does not appear on Japanese television so as to remain anonymous. More foreign tourists than Japanese people approach him. Miyamoto spends the little time playing video games in his personal time, preferring to play the guitar, mandolin, and banjo. He avidly enjoys bluegrass music. He has a Shetland sheepdog named Piku that provided the inspiration for Nintendo dogs. He is also a semi-professional dog breeder. He has been quoted as stating, video games are bad for you. That's what they said about rock and roll. <laughs> I like that quotation. Miyamoto enjoys rearranging furniture in his house, even late at night. He also stated that he has a hobby of guessing the dimensional dimensions of objects, then checking to see if he was correct, and reportedly carries a measuring tape with him everywhere. In December the 20th, December, 2016, Miyamoto showcased his hobby on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon while also performing the Super Mario Brothers theme on guitar with the Roots during the same show. So that's all the research we have for uh, Miyamoto. And uh, you know what? There's some information on his gameography. We have a little bit of a finale with his fin gameography, the games that he's designed. In 1979, he designed Sheriff, Radar Scope in 1980, Space Firebird in 1981, Donkey Kong, and Sky Skipper. In 1982, Donkey Kong Jr. and Popeye. 1983, Mario Brothers, Donkey Kong 3, and Baseball. In 1984, Tennis, Golf, Devil World, Excitabike, Urban Champion. In 1985, Ice Climber, Super Mario Brothers. In 1986, The Legend of Zelda, Super Mario Brothers 2, Super Mario Brothers The Lost Levels. 1987, Zelda 2, The Adventures of Link, and Yume Kojo, Doki Doki Panic, or also known as Super Mario Bros. 2. 1988, Super Mario Bros. 3. In 1989, Mother. In 1990, F-Zero, Super Mario World, Pilot Wings. In 1991, Yoshi, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. 
1992, Super Mario Kart and Wave Race. In 1993, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, Star Fox, Super Mario All-Stars, Yoshi's Safari. In 1994, he did Donkey Kong, Stunt Race FX, Donkey Kong Country, Kirby's Dream Course. In 1995, he did BS Zelda no Densetsu and Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. In 1996, Mole Mania, Super Mario RPG, Pilot Wing 64, Pokemon Red, Green, Blue, Kirby, Superstar, Super Mario 64, Wave Race 64, Mario Kart 64, BS Super Mario USA Power Challenge. 1997, Star Fox 64, Yoshi's Story. 1998, uh, 1080 Degrees Snowboarding, FX, F-Zero X, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, Mario Party. In 1999, he did F-Zero X Expansion Kit, Mario Artist Paint Studio, Super Smash Brothers, Pokemon Stadion, Stadium, Mario Party 2. In 2000, he did Kirby 64, The Crystal Shards, The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask, Mario Tennis, Paper Mario, Mario Party 3, Pokemon Stadium 2. In 2001, The Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Seasons, The Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Ages, Super Mario Advance, Hamtaro, Hams, Hams, Ham Hams Unite, pardon me, Luigi's Mansion, Wave Race, Blue Storm, Mario Kart, Super Circuit, Pikmin, Super Smash Brothers, Melee. In 2002, Disney's Magical Mirror starring Mickey Mouse, Super Mario World, Super Mario Advance 2, Doshin the Giant, Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem, Super Mario Sunshine, Yoshi's Island, Super Mario Advance 3, Metroid Pr- Prime, Star for Adventure, Star Fox Adventures, Hamtaro, Ham Ham, Heartbreak, Mario Party 4, The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Walker, Waker. In 2003, F-Zero, at GX, Mario Golf, Toadstool Tour, Donkey Konga, 1080 Avalanche, Pac-Man vs. Uh, the Legend of Zelda, Four Swords Adventures, Kirby Air Ride, Donkey Kong Country, Mario Kart Double Dash, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, Mario and Luigi, Superstar Saga, Gift Pia, excuse me, Hamtaro, Rainbow Rescue, Mario Party 5, 2004, The Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cap, Metal Gear Solid, The Twin Snakes, Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, Pikmin 2, Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, Mario vs. Donkey Kong, Mario Power Tennis, Mario Mario Party 6, Super Mario 64 for the DS. In 2005, he was responsible for Mario Party Advance. Star Fox Assault, Geist, Chibi Robo, Nintendogs, Mario Tennis, Power Tour, Super Mario Strikers, Mario Party 7, Mario Kart DS. In 2006, he did Mario vs. Donkey Kong 2, March of the Minis, Super Mario Brothers, Wii Sports, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In 2007, Super Mario, Super Paper Mario, Mario Strikers Charged, The Legend of Zelda, Phantom Hourglass, Mario Party 8, Super Mario Galaxy, Mario Party DS, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, Link's Crossbow Training, Wii Fit. In 2008, he did Super Smash Bros. Brawl, Mario Kart Wii, Wii Music. In 2009, Punch Out! Mario vs. Donkey Kong Minis March Again, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games, New Super Mario Bros. Wii. In 2010, Super Mario Galaxy 2, Donkey Kong Country Returns. In 2011, Steel Driver, pardon me, Steel Diver, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D, Star Fox 64 3D, Super Mario 3D Land, Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Mario 
Kart 7. In 2012, he did Mario Party 9, Mario Tennis Open, New Super Mario Bros. 2, Nintendo Land, New Super Mario Bros. U. In 2013, he was responsible for Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon, Pikmin 3, Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, HD, Super Mario 3D World, Mario Party Island Tour, The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. In 2014, the Do- a Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze, Mario Golf, World Tour, Mario Kart 8, Super Smash Brothers for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U, Captain Toad, Treasure Tracker. In 2015, The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask 3D, Mario vs. Donkey Kong, Tipping Stars, Mario Party 10, Puzzle and Dragons, Super Mario Brothers Edition, Splatoon, Super Mario Maker, The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes, Mario Tennis, Ultra Smash, Mario and Luigi, pay- Sorry, my microphone cut off in the middle of this uh, countdown of different uh, games. So we're in 2015, he did Splatoon, Super Mario Maker, Legend of Zelda, Triforce Heroes, Mario Tennis, Ultra Smash, Mario and Luigi, Paper Jam. In 2016, he did Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD, Star Fox Zero, Star Fox Guard, Super, oh, pardon me, Paper Mario Color Splash, Super Mario Maker for Nintendo 3DS, Super Mario Run. In 2017, he did The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Arms, Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions, Super Mario Odyssey. In 2018, Shigeru did Starlink, Starlink Battle for Atlas, and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, as well as Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story plus Bowser Jr.'s Journey. And finally, in 2020, if it's not already been released, it's coming out in 2020, Pikmin 3 Deluxe. That's the wonderful filmography and uh, our production uh, biography of uh, Shigeru Miyamoto and his history of his of this uh, most amazing creator and designer. Thank you for tuning in to uh, listening to my research on Shigeru Miyamoto. I had a good time uh, researching his work and, and his career. I hope you find it inspiring as much as I found it inspiring. Leave your comments below. I appreciate your feedback. What did you enjoy about uh, Shigeru Miyamoto's uh, film uh, career and history of the games that he designed? What games particularly did you enjoy to playing uh, classic and modern day? That's for, that's all the time we have for this episode. I'm Jeremy from Video Gamers Always, Gamer, Video Gamers Always this Playful Podcast. And uh, we just finished the researching Shigeru Miyamoto. I'm going to take a little break for the rest of the year. I'm going to enjoy the rest of the holiday season. I wish you the best of the season, whether it be Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Lo Saturnalia, or Yuletide. Happy holidays, season greetings. Take care of each other this season. And make sure to uh, enjoy uh, time alone as well as time with your loved ones. Jeremy's here, signing out. Till next time. Thank you for watching. You're watch- you've been listening to Video Gamers Oasis Play Pod- Playful Podcast. This will be edited and uploaded on my YouTube channel, Video Gamers Oasis. Uh, Video Gamers Oasis on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified of future videos. It will also be shared on my website, VideoGamersOasis.com. Check out my Twitter, video underscore tweets. And you can also like me on uh, Facebook, Video Gamers Oasis on Facebook. Thanks for watching and thank you for listening. Till next time and have a happy new year. I'll be starting a new year's broadcast then in 2021. Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast would like to thank this episode's sponsor. Hi. 
Hi, this is Jeremy from Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast, VideoGamersOasis.com, and Video Gamers Oasis on Twitch. You know, when I'm in the middle of a very uh, stressful game requiring a great deal of problem solving, or I'm just at my computer doing a lot of hard work, I require a great deal of energy and focus. And all of that energy and focus can get drained very quickly. That's why I, I'm proud to, uh, to announce that I have presently just started uh, to promote a new product that I'm sponsored and affiliated with, God Mode Energy and Focus from Pyre. New Tropic Energy and Focus. God Mode was designed to enhance your ability to focus and perform through powerful nootropics and brain-boosting nutrition, caffeine included, for an extra boost of energy. Improved reaction time, stronger focus, reduced mental fatigue, cognitive benefits, sustained attention, response, inhibition, speed of information processing, cognitive flexibility and control, multiple simultaneous attention, working memory, category formation, pattern recognition. The flavor that I chose for my uh, streams, at least for the time being, is the, the uh, I've chose the flavor Lethal Lemonade. It's a very delicious uh, citrus flavor, and I mix it in my special cup that, that I uh, have ready for me in every video stream. Give it a good shake, and then I guzzle it down whenever I need that refreshing blend of nutritious ingredients. The, I would highly recommend that you get yourself a God Mode Energy and Focus, regular price, price $55. Coupon code is Video Gamers Oasis. You get a significant 10% discount or more. Make sure to go to HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash BIT dot L-Y forward slash three R O P N G I. And don't forget to get the Pyre Shaker Cups BPA free, regular price $16.99. Coupon code Video Gamers Oasis. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash bit dot L Y forward slash three R O capital C M I S. This makes a great gift for that special uh, streamer in your life check out god mode energy and focus video gamers oasis website youtube channel